Hello and welcome back to the Loud Mouse Podcast. We're the Loud Mouse. I am your host, FPS Diesel. Alongside me is Quite and Wild Spartans. I have poopy, Mike. I'm sorry. <laughs> po- poopy, bro. Brandon, Brandon, I really appreciate you tying in like the poop joke with me making a farting noise. It was very clear. Yeah, I have poopy, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so stupid. Damn, okay, genuine dude. comedic geniuses Let, right here. I know, right? Poo poo pee pee. <laughs> Seventy episodes in. <laughs> All right, let's fucking uh, let's All hear right. about this copyright bullshit. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm livid about this. So first of all, I'm gonna say that What's like the thesis. Uh, the, the thing is, <laughs> right, is that I like I think a free and open internet. I think we can all agree that's the best part of the internet. Yeah. Um, no, I like not being able to speak at all. And obviously we hate it when companies, like, clamp down on us for real stupid shit, right? Yeah, like using um, two seconds of a song but I, like, I, I, singing their lyrics. <laughs> I, I think when YouTubers pull shit like that, that's even worse. That's a hundred times worse. Yeah, because and I despise supposed, people like that. Because it's real they're the just people, Destiny hours. It's real Destiny hours. Yeah, they're like the fucking um, underdogs in the situation between like companies and you know the media like they're the underdogs in the company situation because it's like youtubers and then companies so yeah but uh like okay so first i also want to say watch rebel taxi's video on this um it's called like uh you can sue me or whatever and um, i watch it now um it's it's like 18 minutes so i'm gonna summarize (laughs) it but for the people listening (laughs) still watch that video because it's gonna give you a lot more information than what we're going over here um, but Julian Solomito is the boyfriend of Jenna Marbles, right? And he and his friend run a side channel called Waffsicle or whatever the fuck. Who gives a shit? Anyway, uh, they run this channel and they do a show where they like throw a dart at the board and then they travel to wherever that dart lands, right? Yeah. That now you guys have seen that in movies, right? Like that. Yeah. I see, I've seen yeah. that in movies and in like shit Wonderlust blogs or whatever. You know, yeah, like this, people spin a globe and then point their finger at something. And they yeah, go and then they go. Yeah. yeah, and people have done that on YouTube too, of course, for years. Yeah. So these guys went to the Writers Guild of America and said, we came up with that idea. <laughs> Genius. Wait, Genius. They tried to copyright a concept well, that's existed in media Turns for out, years? if you go to the Writers Guild of America and register a concept with them, that's not a legal paper at all. It means jack okay. shit. Right? It just means you came up with it first. You have it on legal writing. But it doesn't protect you from someone else stealing that idea. Right? Stealing it's not a trademark. Huge quotes. <laughs> stealing, yeah, like, steal- like, uh. stealing huge quotes, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> right? But they see when other people do it as them stealing their original idea. And I'm using air quotes now, even though you can't fucking see me. But <laughs> it. There was a channel that did this, and they were named Yes Theory, and Yes Theory did the same thing, and both Colin and the other guy who looks like, I I, I don't even know his name, hold on, I need a (laughs) check. Oh yeah, Yes Theory, I've heard of these guys. Yeah, um, I can't find his fucking name, man. Um, just just go to Twitter, somebody, somebody like, you know, um. So it was Colin and somebody else? Yeah, it was... Was Colin his name? Colin and Julian? You right? just said Colin. <laughs> wait, are you talking? Wait, are you talking? Are you looking at the names of the Yes Theory guys or like the? No, I'm yes looking at the names guys. of the Waffsicle guys that said they. Oh, wait, Julian Samata. Oh, Waff- Julian? Julian Samata and somebody, please cover for me. And Colin. Okay, yeah, it was. Sorry about that, guys. Um, <laughs> you said Colin before. I, I know then, my brain. You had said like, Julian Samada before that. I, as I'm well. so angry about this. Can you can you okay, give me some slack? Okay, geez, okay. Sorry, all right, sorry. All right. right? Don't, but, don't but they me went. Discord. They they went and they registered this with the Writers Guild and they said, "Oh, we have this piece of paper that says this is our you know original idea. Do not steal." And <laughs> their audience, steal. so it like they immediately characters. took to Twitter. They didn't like DM Yes Theory or have a conversation about this like a fucking adult. They immediately took it to Twitter so that way they could use their audience to fucking attack Yes Theory. And genius. I yeah. swear to God, like if you are a YouTuber, do not encourage your audience to do that for the love of God. Like I try my best to make sure that my audience has like an opinion of their own not to agree with me and like if you're gonna attack someone they need to have actually done something like seriously egregious right but like 
they pushed Yes Theory into issuing apologies, right? By way of their fans fucking harassing them. That's that's not okay. That's not okay at all. Right? Like, I understand with, like, a company, for example, like, like let's use Discord, for example, because it's, like, inner topicless as well. Like, putting pressure on a company like Discord makes sense, right? Because, obviously, no single YouTuber is on par with fucking Discord. Like, no one's on par with a company that massive. Also, with a company that massive, their, like, their actions have consequences, and also their inaction has consequences. Yeah, that's the whole point of so, capitalism. Like, we, like, <laughs> you know? we were... We were pressuring them to do something about child porn. You, they were pressuring them to yeah. get to my, my Sonic fan character. Nope. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we'll talk about that later, by the way. Uh, yeah, continue, yeah, yeah. Diesel. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Craig, who is the co-owner of formerly Screwtack, now Death Battle, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. He put out a, like a tweet saying, oh, I'm going to throw a dart at a board and go wherever it lands, making fun of the concept because it's a yeah. trope in media. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like and that's not like that's not a YouTube thing. No, it's a it's such a common thing in media. And fans of the Wapsicle channel found that. Started yelling at Craig on Twitter, saying, Oh, you shouldn't do this. They did it first, you need to give them credit, right? And then Craig put out a GIF, like a picture of a GIF, with a, uh, I think it was Colin throwing a dart at the board, right? Saying that he's gonna do it on a live stream. And then everybody was tweeting at Wapsicle, oh, this guy's stealing your idea. He took your, like, they were like, oh, he took your gift without your permission, blah, blah, blah. And so, like, both Colin and Julian hop on Craig's ass, basically calling him a lion, cheating, thief, asshole, because he's stealing their idea, quote, unquote. Right? And so then, at some point, Pan gets in. Pan Pizza is the guy who runs the channel Rebel Taxi. Uh, he gets in and he's like, this is literally a trope in media. What the hell are you guys talking about? Like, you're harassing him for no reason. And Colin fucking says, pretty much, your opinion doesn't matter. You review cartoons. <laughs> what? This is, like, this is like peak stupid as a YouTuber. Like, this is like peak lack of self-awareness of your position in your job and where you stand in media. To like, this is so fucking stupid. I can't believe this happened. This is so fucking dumb. But like, how dare you talk down to someone like this because they do different content no, than you. No, that's literally like, that's like the most common argument stupid people go to on YouTube. Like, it's it's, like, it's okay, not even an argument, it's a personal attack. <laughs> yeah, no, it, yeah, it's like, it's like, oh yeah, you don't make content like I do. Who the fuck are you talking about? Oh yeah, I don't throw a dart at a fucking wall and then go to that place. Man, my opinion's so invalid. Like, that's so fucking stupid. That is so dumb. Instead of, like, taking any of the criticism, and I think this happens a lot to YouTubers where it's hard for them to take criticism, because, one, you put a lot of work into the things you make. You also, know? people in general just don't like being criticized. It's totally yeah. understandable. Yeah, it's totally understandable. I, I Like, I say specifically for YouTubers, because, like, people will disagree with me on this, but YouTubers, even though it's not, like, somebody painting on a canvas, I, I consider it art. Right, and it's that's my like, opinion, but whatever. Regardless of like what it is, it's like um, whether you consider it art or not. It's like it's still something that you put part of yeah. yourself into in a way. Yeah, it's something someone made. Yeah, like it, yeah. it took their creative expression to create that thing, regardless of how shit you create. A, you think that creative expression was. Yeah, and, and so like to to say that to another YouTuber, instead of even take their point into consideration, and Pan linked an article on TV tropes, so it's not like Pan was pulling this out of his ass. Right? But they just threw it under the bus. And then, like, Colin was saying, like, oh, all these Gamergate dudes are, like, telling me oh that I'm wrong. God. It's like, Gamer it is 2019! Good. It's 2019 bringing up Gamergate, you fucking oh retard! Fucking God, Gamergate, dude! Uh, that's You'll just say that to, dude. like, he's just saying that because it's somebody with an anime profile pic telling him he's wrong. Are you dude, kidding me? Nah, like, when somebody resorts to that kind of shit, like, that genuinely means they have no fucking retort. Like, they don't know what to fucking say because they no, go for, they go for shit for its personal... They're, instead of addressing your argument, they go about some shit that doesn't matter about your appearance. And no, like, this guy... It's, it's one thing if somebody does it as a supplementary thing, and then they go on to debunk your argument, he's like, Hey, hey you make cartoon with you. And blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Fucking... Ugh. Yeah, these guys sound like... Fucking stupid. <laughs> they just sound real stupid. Well, well after after Pan put out his video, both Julian and Colin realized error of their ways and issued a former apology. But like 
None of this should have happened in the first place, and I think that's an obvious, right? I can't believe that people think they have the right to copyright a concept, even, like, we've had situations before where this has happened, and, like, people have been like, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. Like, the, the whole Fine Bros thing. Like, you cannot copyright the word reaction. Well, they weren't just, copywriting it. They were trademarking it. Yeah, yeah they, were, they, were, they were trademarking it. But it's like, you can't just claim this thing and then be like, I did it first, if I didn't, and then try to roll with it. Like, that's not gonna, that's not gonna work. And it's like, and it's like, it, it's also against the whole internet concept in general. The whole point of the internet is to be free. Like, um, like, I don't even, like, wasn't there a whole movement called SOPA? I, I don't know much about it. I was really too young. No, so, SOPA was so, like, uh. SOPA, Pippa, that was so long ago. Fuck. Yeah, those, no, those were I, acts put in place to like check like people's internet. internet history. Yeah, restrict the internet. Okay, I I didn't know much about it because I was really young when it happened, so I wouldn't I didn't pay much attention. So yeah, but like like the whole point of the internet is to have it be open and free and be able to express yourself the way you want to and not have issues with like copyright or trademarks for the most part. Like of course, like if you upload a whole fucking song or something, that's obviously against fair use. But like fair use should still stand. And like I think. I don't know. People are like forgetting that. Mm -hmm. I, I I think fans can like reinforce it a lot too, where it's like they watch a creator that does a certain thing, right? So they're like, this creator, oh, this is the their time, thing, dude. All the you time. Know? And then like, and like if you if you do a concept that someone else has done before, and like let's be real here, pretty much every single concept you could ever come with up with has been done at this point, right? Every concept has been done. There's so many people online, so many different minds thinking about different things. Everything has been done. Just because someone else did something doesn't mean that like, oh, they immediately copied them or like they completely ripped their idea. You know, like sometimes it is the case, but most of the time there is a creative twist there or there is something they did differently to try yeah, to they differentiate Yeah, they take a different angle. Yeah, and it's like, and it's like even if, if you just do a type of content that someone else has done, like let's say you do like a movie review, immediately call a, call a clone of different movie reviewers or like cartoon review, for example, until you build a presence in the community that you're in, then you're not called a copy. Then people who start after you are called a copy. It's like a whole cycle. Yeah, I, so. I mean, it, like obviously it shouldn't be happening, but that's part of like the fan culture. Oh, no, I it's, think, totally, you know? it's bound to happen. It's just something you just ignore. You move on. Yeah, no, de definitely. But like just... <laughs> That's not even the only thing that, like, Julian and Colin's channel does, you know? Like, so you're just going to say, oh, anybody that's doing that is copying their, like, original work. Like, I understand, like, a lot of it's kids, you know, or younger people. But, like, do not go on fucking Twitter and harass someone. Like, just don't, don't do that ever, period. Like, it's that easy. Just don't tweet nah, it. like... <laughs> like, if you want to, like, settle something, try to do it privately first. If the person refuses... The last resort is like a tweet that's not even like added at the end, like at the start, just saying like, "Hey, can we talk?" or like, "Hey, can we please talk about this?" or something like that. Like that is the last resort. Like, um, and then like the very last resort is obviously going out on public, but like you really usually don't need to get there. Like it rarely happens that you need to get there. So usually people are pretty receptive to DM conversations about things. So. Pro props to Craig to from ScrewTech, though. Holy shit, man. <laughs> what, a what an oh. absolute mad lad. The responses he gave were just, like, so sarcastic. Like, I know. <laughs> this, it's kind of unrelated. It's kind of unrelated, but, like, when ScrewTech rebranded to Death Battle, they uploaded, like, the best fucking video announcing it. Like, it was literally just a bunch of comments saying, all you do is upload Beth Death Battle shit now. You should just rename the channel to Death Battle. And they're like, yeah, okay. And they just fucking did it. <laughs> That is good. God. I mean, it's the death battles that get the views and, like, the money and all that yeah. stuff. So, I, I yeah. get it. I still watch death battle. I quite like it. Uh, this isn't on the uh, topic list, but I, I kind of want to move into it because, like, um, I've been watching Rooster Teeth's new show and, like... What is their new show? It's called Genlock. Oh, yeah. Genlock. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't have anything good to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh. Yeah, is it a so, cartoon or an anime type thing? It's um, like a 3D. It's like Ruby animation style. It's not as smooth. That's probably that's one of my first complaints. So gimped okay. Ruby. It 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 move it like it moves very stuntedly, right? Um, so like into the Spider Verse, but not done well. Yeah, it's done real bad. Okay, I'll say it. You know, and I think um, one of the things that Ruby did really well was sound design. So when somebody hits someone, you feel that. You feel the crunch of that impact. Right, the characters in Genlock control mechs, and I don't so even feel like the mechs are there. Follow the movie. 
It's Titanfall the cartoon. <laughs> Titanfall the cartoon. Yeah, pretty much. She just got the rights for that, dude. God. But the thing with Genlock that bothers me, right, is like, okay, so it's okay with the show being diverse, but I have never seen it so bad in my entire life. It was really like, bad. Like, how bad? Like, what are we talking about? Um, so the characters join this online game, right? And they're trying to bond yeah. as, like, team members. And they okay. all bond instantly in this one scene, right? Instead of having, like, build-up or, like, character progression, it just sort of, like, happens. Um, and the reason that happens is because they get in this game, and one of the characters, right, is a lesbian, but she's also Muslim. And she doesn't, like, you don't find that out through anything interesting. She just, like, looks at the camera and just says it. And I'm like, what? Wait, so Why? Do, does each character just go through listing what they are, and they're all like, let's be friends? <laughs> is that what happened? That is... <laughs> Really, the gist of what that scene oh was. Oh my yes. god, that's really bad. And then that's the really other character <laughs> is thinking about transitioning, which like would be a really cool character arc, and I'd really like for it to be fleshed out. But like, they just opened with, "I'm thinking of transitioning." Well, you can't oh like you, <laughs> like I met you 20 <laughs> minutes ago. Why are you telling me this? Uh, imagine, imagine like like it's like a let's say a spy movie, right? And like the first 20 minutes, he looks at the camera and is like, "I'm a spy with 50 years of experience. I've killed 300 people, and this is my mission." <laughs> like imagine that's how every spy movie started. <laughs> like, like I, I get it. It's really brave to put in characters like that. I mean, I, it shouldn't be brave, but like it is because of the kind of like society that we live in. And I think you should we be able to do characters like that. We live in a society, Jesus. No, like, I, there's no problem with characters like that at all, but it's just, like, you can't just deliver with saying, like, I am blah 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 Like, that's not how you deliver a character at all. Like, that's that's dumb. You can't just say it like that. I don't know, man. I said I was gay in a video, and I got, like, five stars on IMDb. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> 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 at least there's a built-up on YouTube. <laughs> You drop hints everywhere, and eventually you just come out and say it. Nah, you know, I just, at least there's a bit. Faggot lol, and people left. It was Alrighty like, then. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, it, it was different when you're doing like a TV yeah, show. Yeah, no, like, it's, it's not like it's there's not like a fucking story progression as of yet. Maybe. Mm -hmm, I mean, I I, I think it would have been a really interesting character arc for the character who's like thinking of transitioning if they were like, like I saw that happen. You know? Yeah, if, if you saw, like, the per, like the progression of their thinking, you know? Like, the progression of their thinking, and, like, if it, if it was, like, a th like a process that you saw grow, like, throughout the show. Yeah, that, like, would, how, that how would, would be super interesting. Person. That'd be super interesting, but, like... <laughs> I just imagine, like, all these characters sitting in a room and just going, like, like you know, at class where it's, like, name one interesting thing about yourself, <laughs> and they just all name this shit. Brandon, that's literally <laughs> what it was. That's so bad. Yeah, I, I, I was offended. I was offended, and I, I'm another. I'm none of those things. I just want to see it done oh really well. God. That that was. It's like, like point, it's though. like kindergarten, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Bro, I'm, this is totally unrelated, but I'm holding like a single Joy-Con in my hands, and fucking, I'm trying to figure out how James Marriott plays with a single Joy-Con with his big his. Gigantic fucking paw. Fuck. What? <laughs> How does what he does do he play, this? What does he play? What does he play? Smash the single Joy-Con. He plays Smash with a single Joy-Con. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I know. What the dude, fuck? Dude, I can't even play. I can't even play Mario Kart with a goddamn single Joy-Con. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too uncomfortable. Dude. My what hands are right? too big. I've watched you try, and you suck. Yeah. But it's a single Joy-Con. Anybody would though. Yeah, he dude, said something along insane. the lines of it's, he said it's something along the lines of it's his excuse to lose. That's a that's a good reason. Anyway, uh, are you done talking about the diesel? He's been talking about the uh, some more. Well, more? Any, anyway, nobody seems to be watching Genlock, so I don't imagine it's gonna last much longer. It's honestly not that great. There you go. The theme song's a banger, but that's about it. Okay, can we talk Spe about Kotaku? Because yes, do they speaking of bangers. Do they, do they normally put out good articles? I, I, I get um, them all confused. <laughs> so this isn't... I, I tweeted this out earlier, but I'm going to guess neither of you saw it. So I'm going to link no, you no. both the article now, and I want your, like... Okay, thank you. ...reaction... Thank you, my ...to this. Son. 
All righty then. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's my reaction. Uh, let me read the title is for this everyone in the, Is this in the opinions column? <laughs> I made a sex club in The Sims and everyone got pregnant. Oh, yay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Is there no protection in The Sims? Yeah, dude, literally all the related articles are like what I learned from Overwatch, a great deal of Overwatch porn. Um, a game about slapping an ass gave me embarrassing flashbacks. Ooh, this is God, great. Fucking, I, God, <laughs> just watch a ninja clap so, Jess's cheeks. <laughs> ninja clap in Jess's cheeks. Like, here, you'll see what I mean. Like, he's literally, there's literally oh, yes, there's even, literally a ninja. It's literally yes. hit, like, a pink-haired dude clapping <laughs> Jess's cheeks. <laughs> Okay, so let me elaborate on this article, because I went through and I read it for people who don't like reading. Um, Thank you. <laughs> so basically, there's a mod called uh, Wicked Whims, right? That adds like over 68 different sex mods to The Sims or something like that, right? 68? Holy shit. Yeah, Why couldn't like, they have gotten one more, dude? I, I know, so, tell me about it. Oh my god, that's a good point. What the fuck? Yeah, um, I think it's 68. It might be more... Um, but basically, you can. There's also like a expansion where you can make clubs, so you can mix that and make a sex club, nice. right? And so basically, yeah, that's that's what this lady did, and their character was a swinger, so they were like porking everybody that you know, they could pork um, until they got pregnant and had three different kids, and they're like, oh, it's really awkward when the fathers call and just say happy birthday. And it's like, okay, that's really sad. <laughs> Damn, dude! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um, and then also, her son, the son of the Sim, ends up having, uh, as, as the ar- article writer puts it, because let's be honest, not a journalist, uh, <laughs> he is obsessed with having lots of autonomous sex in inappropriate places, like the living room. He impregnated his first girlfriend... On their okay, first excuse sexual me, encounter. How is the living room inappropriate? Okay, I I'm not even gonna. I'm yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's so inappropriate about a living room? What's so inappropriate about jerking off in a living room? I don't know, Brandon. You asked me that. Well, it's not like he's jerking off in a public fucking toilet. Like <laughs> you have other people that live in your home, and you go, "I'm gonna sit down in front of the TV and watch porn." Oh, and beat my meat. he wasn't alone. Perhaps those. P- Perhaps those people living in your house are also your family, Brandon. I thought he was alone. Like, <laughs> no, like at the he's, time. A, he's a I, teenager. No, yes. I thought the mom like left the house or something. No. Oh, They'll just do it whenever. Mind. Yeah, don't and, jerk and off in the also, living room your family's around. <laughs> the article goes on to say, and to complicate things further, she's the half-sister of the stepdad's son's child. <laughs> wait, wait, repeat that? <laughs> he impregnated his first girlfriend on their first sexual encounter, and to complicate okay. things... She's the f- half sister of his stepdad's son's child. This is I, I still can't wrap. So my like head second around. cousins, <laughs> I can't this wrap is, my head around. This that. is like in, this is in the Sims, right? Like this isn't like real. Life yeah, this isn't Sim. No, okay, this is thank not God. Real life. Thank God. I I'm, got, sure, I'm got, sure this has happened. I'm sure this all has. happened I got in lost real life, like but. at the mention of the article writer. I was like, wait, are we talking about the article writer now? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> the article writer's son jerks off in the living room. <laughs> Oh the God, article ends so with Riley's only lasting legacy to her descendants was a whole bunch of half siblings, a handful of used sex toys, and a gigantic sprawling fuck palace to live in. This sounds like um, the fan sound. fiction. Well, okay, <laughs> Oof, that's a hard. Very, move. very far south. If you live in the south and you don't do this, thank you. But if you do, don't do this. <laughs> Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> Alabama. But yeah, I, I saw this Kotaku article and I was like, how the fuck does this get written? The, I'm, right. really, I'm really glad it did, I guess, because that's really fucking uh, funny. It, that, that is a funny article. I don't know, although, like, obviously if this is the articles that they're making these days, I understand why they need I'm to learn the it. code. Bazinga. I'm for it. <laughs> um, anyways, okay, so let's talk about something that's not as fun and not a banger. So... Um, the new live-action remake of Aladdin looks fucking awful. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, mainly the, the Genie. End, the, new end, the new Endgame trailer looked look great. Yeah, Endgame always looks good because it's, it's Marvel. But the, yeah, so nah, the new... Will, I'm really glad they chose Will Smith as the new Thanos. It really fits. 
<laughs> Shut the fuck up. It put off by the blue, though. I didn't get what you were saying at first. Someone called him a stand, and I thought that was really funny. Oh, yeah, that's so fucking genius. <laughs> Will Smith playing the genie like that is like... It, it, it looks like Avatar 2. Like, it looks so fucking bad. I can't believe they thought that was a good idea. Um, I saw lots of opinions on Reddit, too. Lots of people were saying that the genie should just be all CGI, and they shouldn't slap uh, Will Smith's face on it for two reasons. One, because uh, Robin Williams. And then two, uh, because the genie isn't supposed to be human at all. He's supposed to be a genie. So, I don't know. <laughs> it looks so really stupid. I'm confused. I'm, is he going to like transition to like a Will Smith form eventually, or is he going to look probably bulbous the whole time? <laughs> it looks so bad. <laughs> Bad, we, have the dude. Technology. we don't have the technology <laughs> we have the technology but does that mean we should use it no See, you scientists know you're so your scientists were so concurrent concerned with whether they could but not if they should you know what's so bad about this what fucking deep fakes look better they, like, i know there are deep fakes that look way yeah, better deep fakes made by people on their fucking computers at home look better than a professionally made film by fucking disney looks like, like snapchat face swap yeah, no, it, it does. It fucking does. <laughs> or it looks like, or it looks like they put a fucking projector in the room and they just moved it with the body. And they're whoa, like, "This is his whoa, face." Oh, look, it's floating in the room. Oh, like, like you know those like Disneyland rides or whatever. They have like the fucking projector faces. That's what it fucking looks like. So fucking looks like. Yeah, don't it looks talk so bad. The, don't talk. Don't put those Disney projector faces down like that, Brendan. That's not fair to them. <laughs> well, I'm, right. I'm a smoker now. <laughs> no, it looks so fucking bad. I can't Sorry, believe this I, is like I, ever approved. Sorry, I got the air stuck in my throat meme. You know the fucking movie's still gonna bang, though. I know, because normies will go Aladdin see it. On the name. Yeah. I I do not want to go see the live-action Disney remakes, but I did see Christopher Robin, and that movie was like, okay. I heard Christopher really? Robin was really good. That looked it, really good. It, it was like, it was like I cute, still, I, still I guess. Watch Christ- I still want to watch Christopher Robin, and based on the cast specifically for Lion King, I want to give it a shot. But I'm not having. I'm not holding out high hopes. I I kind of like. I miss the musical aspect of the Disney movies, you know. So I don't really enjoy the live action because they just say, "Eh, hey, we're gonna cut out the musical parts." Because it'll be those would be great scenes if they were live action, like choreographed numbers. I think that would be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's like imagine the Polar Express scene, but it's not fucking CGI. Yeah, but it's not Dude. creepy as shit. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's I'm a good scene. Look- it's not creepy. It's great. I'm just looking at the Will Smith genie, and the more I look at it, the worse it gets. <laughs> like, All I can think about is Will Smith going, ah, that's right. hot. I know. <laughs> Wait, real fast. Can I call someone on the podcast? Call someone? Who are you calling? I'm Will gonna Smith? I'm going to call someone out. Call someone Ooh. out? It's okay. tea time. 24 frames of Nick. You think the Polar Express is a bad film and is boring. Well, I'm here it to is. tell you that you're wrong. Nick, I agree with you. Diesel, I, you're I don't wrong. Have an opinion. I haven't watched it in fucking like six years. It does not care. hold up. I don't think it holds up. I don't care if it holds up. It's not boring. I don't know, just, man. Anyways, yeah, that genie's really ugly, and I can't put. I can't express how bad it is. Like, well, actually, I can. Remember the Superman image of him like clean shaven because of the CGI yeah, out. Yeah, they like CGI out the mustache. It, it's like it's like the equivalent of that. Like it's that bad. Well, you guys, what you what you go over how bad you think it is? Let me see if I can find a reaction image to properly sum up how much how bad it is. There was an article with a genie picture from like the original Aladdin that had like his his fucking jaw drop to the floor. <laughs> 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 like it was really funny. Uh, yeah, I listened to the genie song before. again with uh, Robin Williams, and I'm like, God, I can't believe they're fucking replacing this man. This is just not okay. I don't feel comfortable with this at all. Yeah, they're replacing him with fucking Will Smith. Uh, you know. <laughs> The fastest growing YouTube you, channel you, of the century. <laughs> like, you fucking, you get Will Smith in your movie, he's not acting as a character, he's just Will Smith. Yeah. You know, like, I, I don't go into a movie and go, oh, that's not Will Smith. Like, The Rock can only play The Rock in the movies. I think at I, this I point... Think, I think Will Smith has more range than The Rock, at least. I, I, actually, I think The Rock has more range, if you want me to be honest. I, I agree, really? The Rock I, has more range. I, I think Maui is a... Perfect example okay, of how yeah, much range a, that's he actually has. A good, that's actually no, a good Will, point. That's a good Will point. Smith is like the, wait, I, I think he's a lot more recognizable than the I found rock. I found the uh, I found the reaction image. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> he yeah, looks like I that. Agree. The genie looks like that. I can't say who it is, but it looks like that. <laughs> You're a dick. 
<laughs> I'm not a dick. It's true. No, okay, no, I'm so not disagreeing. Speaking, speaking of dicks, um, the Fox News host, um, he's kind of a dick. I mean, <laughs> speaking of dicks, last night, <laughs> who's the who, which Fox host? I don't know which one, but like, so I'll I'll send the article. You so wanna? Fox, yeah, I'll know who it yeah, is. Yeah. So this Fox News host, um, <laughs> apparently hasn't washed his hands in ten years. Please tell me. <laughs> Please tell me it's Tucker Carlson. Please I tell hope me it's no, Tucker it's not him. It's not him. It's not Fuck, him. It's not, that's it's boring. Neither of them. It's neither of them. I haven't seen him before. This is the first time I've seen him. Um, it was an unrelated you- note. Uh, there was some lady who went on Good Morning uh, UK, buck ass naked, to protest really? Brexit. Yeah, no, she's protesting wait, Brexit, who, and she just goes everywhere naked. She's some, some professor. Lady. Yeah, huh. interesting. She just goes places nude. See, yeah. So this article. This is by the Guardian, though. No, this article's no, no. But like, he actually said that he doesn't think germs are real, and he hasn't washed his hands in ten years. Like, there's a video I saw it. That's actually in this article. If you scroll down, so, so, no one's talking. We must all be watching. (laughs) Like, like like he says that, and his fucking co-hosts just start laughing at him. Like he's like, and he's like, really though, really, and they start rubbing his hands together. Like, stop doing that, brother. Yeah, it's like, how the fuck have you... Okay, first of all, it's like, germs are fucking real, you idiot. <laughs> and, then it's like, and then it's like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you telling me you've never spilt anything on your hands or like got your hands sticky and be like, I'm gonna wash them. Like, like, <laughs> have you not washed your hands in ten years? Part of me, part of me thinks that him saying, like, I, I can't see them, therefore they aren't real. Part of me feels like that sounds like a joke. This sounds like, like bait. This sounds like bait. Yeah, like it sounds like, like it's sound, like it sounds like, like it's dry delivery, admittedly, but it sounds like something still, like you or me might joke about. It. It's like I don't think germs are real, so I, I can't say them, so they're not real. Like that sounds like something would bait, say as a meme. But it's still fucking funny. <laughs> it's fucking funny, yeah. But like somebody I, somebody like, went on TV and said germs aren't real and they haven't washed their hands in ten years. It's like I don't wanna like I don't wanna assume like that this dude doesn't actually wash his hands like without like giving him the benefit of the doubt, you know? Hey, he fucking said it, you can assume and all you want. <laughs> yeah, you know? true. I could, but <laughs> no. Like that, he opened yeah. the floodgates for that shit. Like you, like imagine him tweeting, I, complaining about. I it. feel like he was trying to bait like lefty journalists into making an article. Like well, this. I mean, it worked because if you read the first fucking sentence of this goddamn article, Donald Trump's favorite TV show, Fox and Friends, it's totally. Oh yeah, this is, Yeah, yeah. It, yeah it, this this is totally article bait. is trash. It's totally this article biased. is trash. <laughs> yeah, this article is trash. The Guardian's trash. Um, anyways. I, I, well, I mean, could you guys explain why it's trash? Because I can't read. Um, so at the start of the article, quite they had like a politically charged statement to rile up their, their audience. And it's biased as shit. And The Guardian's bad. Did, did that help you? They're lefty New York journalists. They all have the same opinion. And they like the circle jerk. Then yes. my, my main question was, can you teach me how to read? I'm illiterate. No. <laughs> Go back to preschool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what you know what like really like puts me off about the Guardian, which why I can't trust them. When you what? try and highlight something on their website, it doesn't highlight it in blue; it highlights it in yellow. That's <laughs> that sounds. Let like it ask thing. if you want to tweet tweet it out instead of copy it. That's also bad. <laughs> I don't like that either. Some sites Boomers. don't even let you copy it to like. Sometimes I'll use like quotes, and they like won't let me copy and paste. Yeah, I have to fucking type it. It's like, what's like, the point? Like, I can just type this. I, I've seen some websites where you copy it, and when you paste it, it pastes it with a fucking citation. <laughs> really? That would be helpful, I, I, be helpful not, with no, citation. No, helpful. Brandon, every time you copy and paste, it doesn't matter if you copy the citation, it puts the citation wherever you pasted the fucking thing. I mean, that's, that's an, like, if it was like an MLA formatted citation, yeah, that I'd sounds, use that. Yeah, that sounds helpful for MLA But I, I, but like, I know it's not. If you want to copy a... But if you want to copy a quote and put it in mid-sentence, congrats, you now have an entire citation, like, three lines down. Oh. It's that long? Damn. <laughs> yeah, like, yes. <laughs> it's like, I want to copy this quote for a tweet. <laughs> You've gone over your Twitter any characters. You have 600 characters. <laughs> oh, God. It is God, epic. there's no... This has to be... <laughs> I'm reading the rest of this, and he said that he also eats day old pizza, likes to drink from hose Who pipes. Doesn't eat day old pizza and uh, really? enjoys riding bikes without a helmet. Yeah, every, everybody eats day old pizza. Like that's not that weird. And riding oh, bikes without a helmet's a pretty common thing. Yeah, but oh, but fucking like speaking of pizza, like I had this topic a few lines down. Did you guys watch the Shane Dawson shit? No, I don't no. watch him anymore. 
There I think like, the documentary sucked. There, I said it. Nah, like, but there's like this really funny thing. Like he was like talking, like he covered it a second part. Like I liked them, but it was basically about how Chuck E. Cheese pizza. It looks the pizzas look like they fucking like just pick up slices that the kids didn't eat, and then they make them parts of new pizzas. I believe that. I yeah, wholeheartedly nah, believe that. It's fucking gross, but it's hilarious. And they denied it, but it's like, why, why the fuck do your pizzas look Why like would they, they say they, they did? Like, like, exactly. Like, <laughs> it's I totally hilarious. could see him doing that. Maybe the, guy pizza's in the costume, ass. maybe the guy in the costume just fucking cuts it. And like, he's so uncoordinated. That's why it's so bad. But like, they're not like straight cuts. They're like, Five, like completely different halves of different pizzas like they don't make a full one circle. has a bite out of it. they don't make full circles like with their shit like it's funny Ooh. yeah it sounds bad yeah it's, anyways uh what's our next topic uh the state of new york uh let me let me pull something up real fast for this i have i have so many opinions on this dude like i oh I'm my god totally you there. haven't even been to new york you fucking I personally, totally when there. i when i think of when i think of new york i think the city of new york often called new york city or simply new york is the most populous city in the united states with an estimated 2017 population of 8,622,698 distributed over a land area of about 302.6 square miles 784 basically too many squared. people <laughs> <laughs> but no, 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 no. Okay, so I went. Uh, I went to New York last weekend with James Marriott, and uh, I saw you left the box. I, no, no, I uh, went. I did, <laughs> the box I came extra, with. That was the I, first time you didn't do the box gag. <laughs> I didn't extra. I didn't extra. What gag? Fuck Were you? It's all, not a whenever, gag. How dare you? Whenever you talk about going Thank on you, a trip, Diesel. you always mention the box. I mean, it was a bit different this time. It was like I don't know how to explain it. I don't, it was big. Already. I don't really want to. talk. I don't really. Hi, Brandon. I'm gonna. I don't really want to talk. Okay. About it. Can we go for it? Can we? Okay. Um, go on. Uh, <laughs> Come on. Uh. So I went. I went. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> please stop yelling, please. <laughs> I'm peeking my mic. <laughs> so I. W- <laughs> so I went to. Uh. I went to the. Um. I went to New York over the weekend, and I saw with James Mary, and I saw fucking Diesel. Uh. He looked seven feet shorter somehow. Um, and I also hung out with Justin Wang, and it was a Diesel good time. Diesel got shorter? There was... Yeah, he's like six inches tall now. It's really weird. Damn. Thank you. He's really Midget. got that Benjamin Button going on. But, yes, um, I, I'm Benjamin Button. <laughs> but we went to a host of unique places on the day that we hung out. Um, <laughs> we went to the fucking Museum of Sex. That was good. What the fuck? <laughs> Why wasn't I invited? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You weren't I, there. I, Trust me, if you were there, God... <laughs> That would have been hilarious. <laughs> was it bad, the museum? No, it was great. Was it like a funny bad? As um, actually, like, okay. James turned to me at one point and he was like, you know, this is a lot more serious than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this is like, this is actually genuine, really serious. It's genuinely like history of sex and like, in like, uh, how it was like portrayed over This actually years. sounds interesting. <laughs> It, it was genuinely interesting. Like it's pretty, it was it's like eighteen years old. It's decently small, but like they yes. have a lot of like they have they have a lot of like interesting exhibits and stuff. Like it's fucking weird how Not, <laughs> let, let me explain. <laughs> let me explain, Brandon, what we did. Right. Okay. So you know, at one point, you know, we get into the first floor, and I, I I'm just staring at you know like paintings of boobs, and you know, my girlfriend's standing there next to me, going, "This is nice." <laughs> is I'm like, nice yeah, I guess so. <laughs> No, no, like, like it's nice art, you know, because like we've been yeah, to art museums so before, and like this was real art, not like the MoMA, mm-hmm. like, cause I, like I told you guys, I went to the MoMA with my girlfriend. Yeah, it was like it was, it was, it was fucking like more horrendous. Like classical understanding you know? of art, kind of. Yeah, thing. it was classical. Like we enjoyed it, you know. And like it, it was well put together shit, and like even like normal art, like sculpting and like even paintings and shit. They have this actually like, sounds fun. Like, <laughs> like this sounds interesting. Yeah, at, but at one point, right, we get to the history of stag film, the history oh. of porno, right. So, you know, I'm, I'm sitting there next to James and Quiet and my girlfriend, and we're all just sitting there looking at some chick from the 1920s who's probably dead, getting fucking pounded. Uh, towards the <laughs> end of it, did they have, like, Pornhub videos from, like, the modern day? No, 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 no. It was all, like, it was all, like, Those were really funny. Literally, like, old ass. It was all, like, it was ancient porn. Ancient porn? <laughs> <laughs> there was, like, there was a whole section about, like, the history of homosexual stag films because of, like, how, and, like, interracial stag film because of how rare they were back in the day. Because, like, only white people got representation, like, back in the 20s and shit, yeah. right? So, like, it, like, being able to find that shit was really rare. 
Yeah. It, it was like so, the whole like, they, they had like <laughs> they had like the first kind of like uh like fantasy porn where a guy was dressed as like an imp and it was a bunch of elf girls that were like sucking his dick. This was in like, the 1920s? I know that sounds weird. Yeah, these are like wow, all very old films. <laughs> like, black, like black and white all that. Times shit. have not changed at all. <laughs> but like oh, this, they had there was like in like in a lot of like the sex artifact shit there was like a fucking head of a furry. Like, they had the head wow, of a furry. times have really not changed. <laughs> no, also, while we were watching this... Shit. Like, it, it was clearly recent, but... Yeah. While, while we were watching the stag films, it was probably, like, you know, there was us four, and then there was, like, 15 other 20-somethings all standing in this room, just all staring at this person going, like, getting fucked. <laughs> Just going, hmm, this is interesting. Oh my god. Sounds, I, weirdest experience yeah, I have I, ever it had. It sounds really weird, but also super interesting to like. It's like to I'm communally fair, watching someone have sex with a bunch well, of strangers, okay, fair, like standing like, next to me. Like fucking theaters like that were common up until I don't know what time. Yeah, but like, like those were like things. you could only watch those you could only watch those stack films in theaters. Like you like That's all, like, so like, weird, like, dude. Imagine fucking, fucking going into a theater and then like not being and like watching a porno and not being able to bust a nut. <laughs> like, like to to be fair, like not all of it was just staring at like the porn and not knowing what to do. Like there was like descriptions of what each thing was, like the history behind it and shit. You think porn? Like it wasn't just. Oh, I, it wasn't just people standing there watching. No, porn. I, I I figured it wasn't, but like the porn part's the funniest. Do you think that there were better stories is, in porn is. back in the day because they were like on a theater screen, like? No. no. Okay. No. They're still bad. Well, it was it was silent films. Oh. They were silent films. So, like, in the middle of, like, someone getting pork, they'd have, like, the text for what they were saying. What the fuck? Like, like no, so no meme, like, 100%. It's like a gif. Yeah. <laughs> but without color. <laughs> also, it's when, like when uh, we got into the sex artifacts area, right, there was a bunch of weird, like, I know the furry head, like, okay, yeah, yeah. But that's yeah, like nothing that, compared to the other stuff in that room. That's not that weird compared to some of the other shit. Because like, yeah. that's not even exclusively for sex. They had a real doll in a case. So for people who don't know what a real doll is, they're basically the most elaborate, um, elaborately crafted sex dolls you could ever if buy. If I'm not mistaken, they're kind of creepy looking. It yeah. It's very uncanny. Yeah, because their eyes don't move, but like look so real. It looks like a dead person, I'll be Ooh. honest. <laughs> You can tell something's a little off about the skin. No, like you know? it's really hard to mimic um, human like facial features and like bodies. Like that is something that like we as a species can like differentiate really well. Yeah, the un- the uncanny valley always gets. Yeah, the, they Hence also the had uh, they also had ancient vibrators and they look like power tools. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's you probably want to. And there was a chi- you probably wouldn't want to. There was a chainmail condom. How would that even fucking do anything? I, I think it was for were... BDSM. Oh, yeah, no, it's not for practical. Yeah, I was about to say how it's for electricity. I was about to say, how the fuck? What? Yeah, you put like something electric. You shot. You shock them through the tip. Wait, do you shock your own dick or do you shock the woman? You shock your own dick. A woman shocks your dick. Well, nice. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> No. <laughs> that, but by Ooh. far the best, the best exhibit in the entire museum, and Diesel knows exactly what I'm talking about. There's this one like uh, inflatable bounce house of shit, and like it was a lot of fun to like, you know, like inflatable bounce houses are fun. Uh, but it was just, it was like inflatable tits, and you were just, you could just bounce the fuck all over them. It was. This great. sounds fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a, I, it was a big bouncy castle with boobs everywhere. Like, it was genuinely really cool. Like, it was fucking hilarious. Damn. Electrical condom. I'd, I'd, uh, yeah, and the gift shop. Thumbnail. The gift shop was full of dildos, vibrators. Um, Imagine just, buying one of those out there. I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. No, it would be so fucking weird. I, like, part of me wanted to just to say I did, but then the other part of me was like, I couldn't go up to someone... And then put something like that on the desk <laughs> did they, and go. Yeah, I'd yeah. like bu- to buy like this. To buy this like, flashlight, it's like, <laughs> how do you how do you buy something from the Museum of Sex gift shop and then go to Nintendo World after that? You hide it in your bag and don't let anyone see it. <laughs> it's like how do like like but you know it's there. There's yeah. no way you can no, walk I in there like, without it. No, I feel like if you like you went to like a sh- gift shop like that, you'd have to be like so shameless to walk in and buy something. I. 
I don't have it in me, like, to no, do that. I, I, I was close, but not that close. Do that. Like, maybe, like, a dildo, ironically, but that's it. Because, like... Yeah, no, like, because they'd assume you're buying it for the purpose that it's intended, you mm, know? Mm, like, what I are you going to do? Go up to the lady at the cash register and go... I don't think dildo image of Brandon. I don't think most people oh, yeah. would assume that you'd be buying a dildo as a dude for yourself. You don't know that. I think they'd assume... You don't know that, though. I don't know. I think they'd assume <laughs> it'd be for your partner. Would, would you care... Like, the thing is, though, like if you're buying a dildo in a gift shop, would you care that no, much? No, if you had the balls to do it, but... <laughs> yeah, but this is like... It, it, it's a sex shop, but it is also a museum. No, it's so weird. Okay. It's like you fucking go through the entire exhibit and you're like, damn, I'm turned on with this old porn. I'm gonna go buy a vibrator. <laughs> I, I don't know how anybody could sit there and be turned on <laughs> oh by that stuff, God. man. Is that bad? No. <laughs> I mean, like, they didn't shave, so it's Were bad. Were like, super, super hairy? <laughs> Everyone was super, super hairy. Yeah. <laughs> see, I, see, my icons are demonetized simple. That's this podcast. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Fucking, we, we talked about... We might as well just name the episode Museum of Sex, because that'll probably get views regardless. That's actually not a bad idea. Way, yeah. but, I mean, That's we can put a, a three to avoid, like, total restriction. Um... I mean, just like it, Elon Musk, they'll pick up on the fucking auto-generated captions anyway. Yeah, but if you yeah, put sex pro- in the title, probably. you're definitely gonna get marked as mature. If we put, we might get teen if we put with, it with a three. So I think it's worth doing the three, anyways. How how far are we yeah. into this? Oh shit! I uh, like fifty. Uh, yeah, no, forty-five. Uh, we. I mean, do, what? Okay, let's talk. I mean, we but, we have other stuff we did in New York too. Like we uh, when we went to New York, we also went to um, uh, fucking. We did an escape room. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, we did an escape room with another couple, and they were yelling at each other at one point, and we were like, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, they were very they were very pissed at each other the whole time, but they were cool. Yeah, they, they were they were a nice couple, except for the parts yeah. where they were yelling You're loudly. You fucking idiot, do this, stop this! <laughs> it was pretty much that. I already did that. I already, and just imagine, like, people with thick New York accents just oh, yelling God. at each other. Oh, yeah, that, that classic New York hospitality, Damn. you know how it is. <laughs> Alright, is there anything else about your New York trip? Because if not, we're gonna, we're gonna skip to Discord because this might be long. Yeah, uh, I, I think we should get to Discord. Right. This should be a big one. Quite Discord, let's go. Discord! So, dis- so if you guys are unaware, there was like, it, after the quackity shit, like this is different, um, but still vaguely connected because it, yeah, it involves a, it involves a trust and safety team and users with but the trust it's and safety a, team. It, but it's a bit more serious. A lot more um, serious. That, like, <laughs> It involves the fucking FBI. So, not like I think a couple weeks ago it was Newsweek made an article covering Discord, uh, where they <laughs> this is an actual title on, of an article that exists in the year 2019. Discord comes under fire for alleged moderator abuse and furry corruption. It was fucking that great. title was so fucking but, funny. <laughs> but essentially, what they did was they covered a lot of allegations against Discord that they had. A lenient stance against the idea of um, cub porn, which, if you don't know, is essentially furry child. Yeah, that's basically what um, it is. And uh, since their their rules stated a bunch, like explicitly things against Lollicon and Shotokan, uh, they uh, they and they didn't have anything explicitly about cub porn until their TOS until recently. And it seemed like they would treat it as a gray area where they would give some leniency. It wasn't no no, no it wasn't just stuff. leniency. Like moderators would respond to emails claiming it's art. And that it's fine. Like, what the emails I read said that, like, it's a gray area because not all of them are humanoid. And that was their excuse, which was a shit excuse. Yeah, it was a bad that excuse. That was, like, the leaning. No, like, if, if you were a Discord moderator, you, and, and, like, you were, like, you weren't into that, you would totally be, like, let's just ban it to be, fa- like, to be safe, you know? Which, like, makes it really suspicious about the mod team and, like, what they liked. <laughs> so, uh, because, like, why the fuck wouldn't you ban it? Concerning one of the moderators who, like, uh, I think it was who sent that. I'm not sure if that was the, it was. If it there was were the a couple person. mods that there, sent stuff like that. I think there was like three. But, there but are a like, couple, but that was yeah. one of them. The one I'm thinking about, like, uh, you guys probably know which one. It's the one that like uh, is the most infamous. Yeah. There was some like if you watched uh, this guy Strixo, he made a video where he was a really in depth video where he went over a lot of the allegations like on his own and like he looked into some of the things that were uh, uh, alleged against the mod that was involved. 
Can I just name them? Uh, no. Uh, they're all. I mean, like, here's the thing: is that they're in like the Newsweek they're, article? Yeah, they're, oh, they're, they're in the articles in and shit. Articles. Uh, this, yeah, fuck it. I think yes. all this shit's private anyway. It, it's it's everywhere. Yeah, go for it. No, they nuke their Twitter. Wait, 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 no, no, no. Their names blacked out in the emails. Okay, really? if it's blacked out, don't yeah. mention it. I just don't want to like. I don't want this person get unneeded harassment because they've already gotten flamed enough. So. Yeah. But there was a lot, like, there was a, a, but essentially what they did recently was they came out with a long-ass blog post uh, detailing that they had explicitly said all cub porn is banned, so there's no, it's no longer gray area. If it's, if it's a, if it depicts anything that looks like a minor in a sexual situation, it's not allowed on the fucking, on the website, which Which is is totally fair. Um, Like, it should have been the rule already, (laughs) you know? It, it, it shouldn't have been up for discussion anyway, you know, because like, even like, like, you should have just been like, oh, it might be a gray area, but let's just ban it to be safe. Like, this should have been the logic if you were a moderator and you think it's a gray area. This should have been your logic anyways. But, but it's like, at this point, it's done what's done. Better late than never, I guess. But, like, fucking, the thing that most people are on their ass about now is because in that blog post, it didn't really seem like they addressed a bunch of stuff with a Discord yeah, the they, safety team. Yeah, they, and how, yeah. And how, and they're... Like, they, maybe they're doing stuff behind the scenes that reorganizes the structure of the team itself that ha- stops it from, like, from that lets it have a more uh, diverse view of things. But it, they didn't really address that. They mostly spent time defending, like, that the job of the trust and safety team, team is really hard, which I'm sure it is. They have no, a, like, they're I, I, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I am sure the trust and safety team's job is hard. The issue that everyone had with the trust and safety team, though, was not because, like, they were behind their job or anything like that. It was because of the way they were handling the rules and the way they were, like, just handling everything. Like, banning people for basically unjustified reasons, giving bogus reasons, and allowing the cub porn. It wasn't because of, like, I don't know. It wasn't because they weren't doing the job right at all. It was just minor things like that. It was things like that they could fix really easily when they were reviewing cases. It wasn't like, yeah, it wasn't like, oh, yeah, they're not doing a good enough job because they're not reviewing reports fast enough or something like that. It was nothing like that. So it was, but but the criticism that is being levied at their blog post is that they didn't really address anything that they were doing internally for that. They just spent most of the time defending them, and the only thing they explicitly said was they were now adding, they were now banning. Yeah, them. they should they should have won. I think they should have publicly said we're talking to our to trust and safety team, or we're like we're like like retraining them or something. Uh, mainly because I'm pretty sure. I mean, like, it's been talked about on Twitter and Reddit, like, a lot recently. Um, I'm pretty sure a couple of the staff either got fired or laid off because... Yeah, it's uncorroborated rumors, yeah, though. Yeah, we, we don't we have, don't have any evidence confirmation, to that. But, like, it's based off the fact that they used to have their job in their bio and on both, on two accounts, Reddit and Twitter, uh, and they removed it on both, which makes us think that they don't have it anymore or they just want to stop being associated with that. Um, but, like, they're kind of, their job's kind of a public figure. So I, it, they they probably did because let's be real, um, the cub porn thing, I would have fired them too. <laughs> if, I I would have I would have fired them. Yeah, but <laughs> even better than that, like um, fur affinity doesn't allow cub porn. Are like are you kidding me? How does Discord Damn. allow it? But not the place where that's, most furries interact ooh, with each other. <laughs> like are you kidding no, me? I, uh, and like. There is evidence of the Fur Affinity team that's in their TOS, right? They go through and they remove it consistently. And plenty of furries report cub porn on their own, so it's not on their yeah, side. they don't want it there. Like a lot but of But Discord don't. couldn't do that? Are you uh, kidding it, me? It, it, Surpri- it had to be the surprisingly, surprisingly, most people... Surprisingly, most people aren't ag- are against child porn, regardless of yeah. what part of like whatever. Like, it's a, pr- it's a pretty of. fucking common thing, you know. <laughs> like it, like, it ain't like a furry no, thing. It, it ain't like a fucking person thing. It's just no child porn bad. Yeah, oh. no, it, everyone's p- against that shit. So like, I feel like yeah, no, it had to be just the trust, trust and safety team that was like, yeah, this shit's okay. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure they helped make the rules. Yes, so, yeah. I would assume yeah, they, they would. So, at the very least, they're the ones who choose how to enforce them. Yeah, and like, uh, like calling it art, <laughs> dude. I didn't see where they. I didn't see where they called it art. I, I saw. saw them, like, saying hold up. Let me. Let me find. It. I saw them calling yeah, it art. I, I, I saw, saw the I email, email of like them that. saying it's classified under art, and that's why it's protected. Um, which yeah. is like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> that's so stupid. Um, but yeah, so Discord. I'm glad they made a public statement. 
Uh, I'm glad they addressed the big issue, which was the cub porn. I wish they went more into the TOS thing and, like, how they're working on that. Because let's be real here. Um, Discord's trying to branch into, like, game sales and shit like that, right? And it's like, why do you expect me to buy a game on an account that I could lose at any point because a moderator disagreed with an opinion I had and banned me? That's essentially what happened to Quackity. Because, like, there was even a point in the email where the mod was like, you can't post images of people that you think are funny, uh, which basically means memes aren't allowed. So um, that was fucking stupid. Um, but yeah, like, why would people buy games on Discord when they're worried their account's going to get banned for some bogus fucking reason and their appeal process is shit? Yeah, I think this is a good step forward at least, but it's not like like there's a very clear issue and it needs to be addressed still. Like I, it, I don't know if they should just say anything publicly, but like no, something like, needs to happen. I, I want to at least see like a gradual change of less people getting banned for bogus reasons because like you do see people getting banned for bogus reasons on Twitter and Reddit. Um, so it's like I'd like to see less people complaining about that, and if that happened, it'd be like okay, they, they did something, you know. Like, it doesn't have to be entirely external and public, but I'm saying, like, if they made a statement, it would give me more confidence in the platform, personally. Okay. Yeah. Quiet. You You're dead. Something. What? No. No. I wasn't the kidding. silence. <laughs> the silence is deafening. Uh, Your silence is right, deafening. We got, we got time for one more topic. What do we want to hit up? Nintendo Direct? Yeah, Nintendo Direct. Tetris Battle Royale! Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I don't know. I'm totally for it. I think it's hilarious. What the hell it's is fucking, wrong with you? What? It's fucking are you, are, funny. Are you, you telling me, like, me? like, okay, first of all... How is it even going to work? Okay, it's going to be... So, it's, okay, 99 people are going to join a game, right? And everyone's going to play until the end. And then whoever loses the Tetris game... Um, if you lose your Tetris game, you get knocked out, right? It's like it's like that. You're playing your own solo games. That's how I'm assuming it is. You play your own solo games, and if you lose, you get knocked out. Yeah, and the other players can attack you with trash or some shit, and you can attack This back. sounds amazing! Like, <laughs> like, it sounds funny as fuck. But this brings me onto another topic that I may have brought up on the podcast before, but it really irks me that Tetris is the best-selling game of all time, because they count every version of Tetris yeah, no, you brought this up. I remember. ever as one game. Yeah, you, and like, I, it's not fair, okay? You brought this up. I mean, it, it'd it. probably be the best-selling version regardless, because it's on, like, every Windows system by default. But it's a different, like, fucking, like... Three different versions of Tetris with completely different graphics and completely different yeah, style that's stupid. Are all considered like it's considered like the entire franchise is considered so one. What's game. the second best selling game? I think it's like Pokemon or some shit. Pokemon something or some shit. <laughs> or or my it might have been Minecraft. Oh, that sounds about right. Hold up, top ten best selling. Let's see. Video Maybe it's games. Skyrim. <laughs> oh god, I don't even think Skyrim. Uh, Skyrim's up there. on that list. Okay, really? Tetris is this. So this uh, is the order. Tetris, Minecraft, Grand Theft Auto, Wii Sports, PUBG, damn. Uh, Pokemon Red, Green, Blue, and Yellow, Wii Fit, Wii Fit Plus, Super Mario Bros, Mario Kit, Kart Wii, uh, Wii Sports, Resort, new, basically a bunch of Nintendo, and then, yeah, uh, Skyrim is 19. On the list of 50. No, no, Skyrim's a little higher. I'm looking at the wiki now. It might be different. Oh, yeah. it, it's right under new, new Super Mario it's, Bros. Wii. It's, yeah, it's number 13. Wait. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. You're, you're looking, right. That's no, I'm the looking reference. reference. You're, that's right, the you're reference right. You're right. You're right. Link. Yeah, it is 13. You're right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Frogger's on here. The Sims. Fucking Need for Speed Most Wanted? That game sucked. <laughs> what? That game was great uh, out maybe, there. Uh, it probably sucked for me because I played it in the Wii, but still. Yo, yo, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum is fucking like... Uh, that's, wait, Sun and Moon sold a lot better than I thought it did. Shit. Black Ops. That did really well. Yeah, that's not surprising. That was like the best-selling game on the Xbox. I think all like all the GTAs are here. The GTA Five. That the makes top. sense. That makes sense. Oh, uh, but like on the topic of the Nintendo Direct, at the very end, when like they had like the stormy ass opening at sea, and then they had like a thunder strike, and that's like the exact opening of Pokemon Mystery Engine Explorers, and I got so fucking excited, and then it was just Legend of Zelda, and I was so disappointed. <laughs> Is it a DLC? <laughs> No, it's a new game. Oh, it's like it's a, a new Zelda. Of Link- yeah, it's remake of it's a remake of Link's Awakening. Oh damn! Yeah, I play that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it actually. Is there anything like really about? Like, uh, I would have probably seen this. What am I thinking? Of? Fuck! I just forgot. Smash. No, it's the there, the one game that everyone wants. Town something, I think. Animal Crossing. Yes, Animal Crossing. There we go. Why the fuck did I forget? I, I almost said Farmville, there's but a, I did that before. There's. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know. If, I know farm bills on Facebook. So there was a there is um okay so a couple things of note um there was they talked about the Smash three point update which was mostly just like software shit editing but, network um, but we saw the first. We saw the first preview of a Joker's model, but like we only saw it from the back, and it wasn't like on a stage or anything. He didn't do any moves. We just saw it land. Okay. Um, but uh, uh, what else? Did they, not, did they update anything about um, Smash? No Pokemon connection. Um, I didn't say anything Damn. about it. Uh, nothing about Pokemon. I saw a fucking um. They uh, they announced Bayonetta three. I think like very informally, or they said that I thought that was confirmed. Bayonetta. It was probably already confirmed, but they just said that the guys at Platinum were just still working on it. Okay, like it wasn't forgotten. I, I like I like those updates. We're like we didn't uh, forget. There, by the way, there are some others because sometimes those are needed. Yeah. Wait, what did you? I say? like the updates where they're like, yeah. By the way, uh, we're still working this game because like sometimes it's needed when a game takes forever. Like that's a really like nice update. Like you just you just need to be reminded. Like we didn't forget. Yeah, like like, like a fucking time. Apple like told us they were making like what was it Air Power? Yeah, it was Air Power. Like, if they were like, yeah, we were making air power still instead of just dropping the it. the fuck is air power? See, the wind's already see, okay, a thing. Okay, so fucking, it's like, it's, <laughs> it's their wireless charger. Bazinga. <laughs> it's their wire. you know what it is, right? Are you, were you memeing? Are you? Uh, I don't wait, know what so it is. It, there was a wireless charging pad they announced, like, two years ago with the iPhone 8. And, like, they haven't updated anything about it up until now. So, it was, like, it was in the dark for years. And everyone thought they just ditched it. They didn't update or anything. So... Okay, continue. Nintendo? Uh, that's most of what I could remember. Okay. Oh, they announced Super Mario Maker 2 as well. Thank Damn, God. That sounds fun. Is it, it's, About I'm time. It's the Switch. Not the Wii U. Of course. What's a Wii U? Yeah, what's a Wii U? There are like 10 people in the world that own a fucking Wii U still. Are you one of the 10 diesel? Uh, I have a Wii U. I almost bought a Wii U. I put mine away. I almost bought it for Smash. Or not Smash. Uh, Mario same, Kart. Same. But, like, I, I looked at the console price, and I'm like, this thing's $400. <laughs> Why is it so expensive? I almost, I, almost, I almost bought it for Smash 4, and I was like, it's $300? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm okay. Yeah, it's, it's too expensive or what the fuck it is. I think that was the year before the Switch was going to come out, too. No, was it like, was. Nah, I'm just it was. Wait. No, I remember it, because I remember I was looking at it. I'm just like, it's like, the Wii U is as expensive as the Switch is probably going to be. Like, they've already said it's coming out March next year. I'll just fucking yeah, yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah, Just wait. All right, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Quite wrap up the podcast, unless anyone else has something to say. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching this episode of the Loudmouse Podcast. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Loudmouse underscore. You can check us out on SoundCloud, Google Play, and YouTube and iTunes. We're on a decent amount of places at this point, aren't we? Uh, thanks for watching this episode. Uh, it's been fun, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.